Okay, hi there. I've got six past multiple choice questions for you to, to check your understanding on the key topic of aggregate demand. So here we go. Which of the following is likely to increase the, the rate of capital investment in an economy? So for each of these questions, press the pause button when you uh, want to have a got the question and then just press play when you want to walk through the answer together. So which of the following is likely to increase the rate of capital investment in an economy? The correct answer here is B, an increase in the rate of growth of consumer demand. This is also known as the accelerator effect in the sense that if you think about the demand for broadband telecoms, for example, as the demand for 4G and 5G services goes up, so too does the need for increased investment to increase the capacity of the telecom sector. So there's a positive accelerator effect. A is the reverse of B. A higher interest rates increases the cost of borrowing for businesses, therefore likely to lead to less investment. And if there's more spare capacity, then businesses have less need to invest in new capital. Question number two, which one of the following is most likely to cause a fall in consumer spending? Have a go, please, at question number two. So under what circumstances might consumer spending go down? Well, the best answer here is D, a reduction in personal income tax allowances. Just working through, if house prices go up, in theory that increases household wealth, which might cause people to have greater confidence, to borrow and, to borrow and spend more. A fall in the real interest rate on loans, again, encourages an increased demand for credit. A rise in real incomes allows people to have more purchasing power to spend on goods and services. If tax allowances go down, well, a tax allowance is the income you can earn before you start paying tax. So if the government cuts perhaps the real value of those tax allowances, people will end up paying more direct taxes and therefore have less money to spend on goods and services. Here's question three. The level of investment spending by private sector businesses tends to vary something with interest rates and something with business confidence. Have a go, please, at question number three. So this is basically testing out of negative and positive relationships between two variables. So investment spending by firms tends to vary, what's the answer? Tends to vary negatively with interest rates and positively with confidence in the sense that as interest rates go down, planned investment tends to go up. And as business confidence goes up, so too does capital investment. So there's a negative and positive relationship at work there, hence the answer is A. In a similar vein, let's have a go at question four. The size of the government's budget deficit tends to vary something with the rate of growth of GDP and something with the level of unemployment. Again, have a go please at question number four. Well, the size of the budget deficit, of course, is the gap between government spending and tax revenues. How much, essentially, the government has to borrow each year to fund any shortfall of tax overspend. If the economy goes into a downspin, if there's a fall in growth, then the budget deficit tends to go up. So there's a negative relationship. If unemployment goes down, then the government gets more tax revenue and has to pay out less in welfare. So their budget deficit also goes down. So the correct answer again here is A, negative relationship with growth of GDP, positive relationship with the rate of unemployment. The size of the budget deficit goes up when unemployment goes up, goes down when unemployment goes down. Two more questions. Aggregate demand in an open economy is equal to which formula? Have a go please at question five. Okay, well, an open economy is one which is open to trade in goods and services. And the correct formula, which hopefully all of you got, is D, C plus I plus G plus X minus M. The X minus M bit is the net trade balance, the value of exports minus the value of imports. And here's our final question in this little video. The major factor influencing the level of consumer spending is what? Four options there, A, B, C, and D. Have a go, please, at question number six. 
So what's the key factor affecting consumer spending? Well, I suppose it depends on your economic point of view, but the evidence is strongly that the main factor is the level of disposable income, income after direct taxes and welfare benefits. Keynesians, of course, talk about the consumption function, where consumption is a direct, or direct, directly linked to the level of real household disposable income. Yes, the interest on savings. Yes, the availability of credit. Yes, the level of welfare. Of course, welfare drives into disposable incomes. But disposable income is the key factor determining consumer spending, which is, in most countries, the main factor affecting aggregate demand. Well, if you've got six out of six, then you're really well on top of this key topic. Well done. Check in for some more test videos to check your understanding. But for the moment, stay safe, stay curious, and see you soon.